I'm here with General Manager of the Simcoe Storm, Andy Toner. Now, Andy, um, this is a team you've been you hired this season to come on to guide the team. You're not, you're not. This isn't a new team to you. You've seen the team before. Yep. Yeah. Last year, I went to uh, probably about half a dozen games, uh, home games and road games. Uh, my son plays on the team, uh, so that's how I kind of had a rapport with Dan. Uh, of course, he has his two sons on the team, uh, so we already have a little bit of a relationship going into this season to start. So. Okay, so Andy, now in terms of the team, um, exactly how did you come to become the general manager of the Simcoe Storm? Um, with my old position in Paris, uh, there was a difference between the ownership and myself, uh, so we decided to part ways. Uh, and then I reached out to Darren to talk to him about the possibility of working in Simcoe. I know he'd been looking for somebody to take over and help run things. So we came to an agreement that I step up and be the general manager this year, and basically gave me a clean slate to start working away. And I guess one of the first decisions you did was to get Dan Colbert on board as the head coach? Yeah, uh, Dan was one of the first guys I talked to after I talked to last year's bench staff to see if they had interest in coming back. And uh, they were unsure if they wanted to come back or not. And I talked to Dan, and me and Dan were on the same page right from the get-go. Uh, so it seemed like a good fit, and then we just started working together right away. Started doing some recruiting and getting things, get the ball rolling. Now, in terms of the Simcoe Storm, I mean, the public knows that there's been some bumps in the history of the Simcoe Storm. From the past, what are your first few steps to kind of get the team rebuilt? Uh, the first thing I did is I had player interviews with all the players that were there last year, see what their intentions were, if they wanted to come back or not, and how eager they were to try and rebuild this thing. And it was a good rapport. I know they had a good room last year. I know all the guys got together. Obviously, some of them wanted to take the next step and go and play B. Uh, but a lot of them have committed. Like, we're about half, half of them have committed to come back. Uh, like I said, being 0-39 and whatever, uh, there is room for improvement, so there is some room for turnover. We're hoping to have a good camp, good competitive camp, get a couple guys out there. And then, like me and Dan said, we're going to get as, much, as many players as we can get out and then build the stretch structure for what we have. Now, in terms of the public, I mean, the public has seen the team over the last few years. What would you say to the public in terms of coming out to see games again in the Simcoe Storm? Uh, well, I would like to say that we'd be able to build a championship team in the first four or five months, but uh, that's not going to happen. We're realistic. We know we're going to be competitive. Our goals are to start off with 10 wins. Uh, with the league we're in, they only have eight teams, so we know everybody makes the playoffs. So basically, we're hoping to have a good preseason, uh, pre a good regular season, and then uh, maybe shock a few teams in the first few rounds of the playoffs. So I'm hoping that the, the community gets them behind us again, gets back to the days when they were rolling. Uh, I know there have been a strong, strong hockey community there and I'm hoping to excite people out there. Thanks for your time, Andy.